Sixth grade, module three, lesson five, problem set. Read each description carefully and write an equation that represents the description. The opposite of negative seven. So we're writing an equation. So that means it's gonna have an equal sign and an answer. If it said expression, we would just, we wouldn't have an equal sign and, and an answer. So the opposite of negative seven. So I'm just gonna write down the symbol for the words that I'm seeing. So the symbol for opposite would be negative. So the opposite, we're doing whatever the opposite is. The symbol for of is times. So you could put a time sign, but I'm just gonna put parentheses because that also means that we're gonna multiply. If, they, if there's no symbol, then we just multiply of negative seven. And then I'm gonna write down negative seven equals, so the opposite of negative seven. So remember in the classwork, we learned that two negatives will cancel each other out and become positive. So the opposite of negative seven is seven. So then B, the opposite, so opposite of the opposite, so again, the opposite of 25. So the opposite of the opposite of 25 would be equal to, there's two negatives, so they're gonna cancel each other out, and we have 25. C, the opposite of 15. So there's only one negative, so there's nothing to cancel each other out, so that is equal to negative 15. And lastly, the opposite of negative 36 would be equal to 36 because the two negatives cancel each other out and become positive. Number two, Jose graphed the opposite of the opposite of three on the number line. First, he graphed point P on the number line, three units to the right of zero. Next, he graphed the opposite of P on the number line, three units to the left of zero and labeled it K. Finally, he graphed the opposite of K and labeled it Q. Is his diagram correct? Explain. If the diagram is correct, is not correct, explain his error and correctly locate and label point Q. Okay. So is his diagram correct? Let's start at the beginning. So he graphed the opposite of the opposite of three on the number line. So first he graphed P on the number line. So we're finding the opposite of the opposite of three. So first he started at three, right there. So that would be P. Next he graphed the opposite of P. So the opposite of P would be negative three right there, which is K. So that's correct. And finally, he graphed the opposite of K. So the opposite of negative three is three, which would be back where Q is, and he labeled it, or where P originally was, and he labeled it Q, so back to three. So I think, yes, his diagram is correct. So let's write it over here. Yes, his diagram is correct. It shows the original number three and the opposite of the opposite of three is three. Remember, the, another way to say the opposite of the opposite is it's just the original number. B, write the relationship between the points, P and K. So the relationship between P and K is they are opposites. The relationship between K and Q. So here's K use a new color. Here's K, here's Q. So again, K and Q are opposites. And then P and Q, so here's P and Q, so they are the same. They are not opposites, we can just say they're the same. Or you could say they're equal. Read each real-world 
description. Write the integer that represents the opposite of the opposite. Show your work and support your answer. So we're trying to find the opposite of the opposite of all of these. So let's start with A. A temperature rise of 15 degrees Fahrenheit. So rise means that it's positive 15. So we're starting out with 15. So the opposite of 15 would be negative 15. So let's say negative 15 is the opposite of 15. And then we need to find the opposite of the opposite. So 15 will be equal to the opposite of negative 15. So if we wanted an equation, we could say the opposite of the opposite of 15 is equal to 15 because the two negatives will cancel each other out. So from now on, I'm just going to write the equations. So B, a gain of 55 yards. So if we want to find the opposite of the opposite of 55, so it's gaining, so that's going to be positive. So the opposite of the opposite of 55 would be equal to 55 because the two negatives will cancel each other out. Okay, let's do C, a loss of 10 pounds. So C, we're already starting at negative 10 because you lost 10 pounds, so you're down 10. So let's find the opposite of the opposite of negative 10. So two negatives will cancel each other out, and we still have one negative, so the opposite of the opposite of negative 10 is negative 10. And lastly, E or D, a withdrawal of $2,000. So that would be negative. If you withdraw money, then you've taken it out. So this is negative 2,000. So let's find the opposite of the opposite of negative 2,000 would be equal to negative 2,000 because we have three negative signs, two cancel each other out, but we still have one. So it's negative 2,000. And number four, write the integer that represents the statement. Locate and label each point on the number line below. Okay, the opposite of a gain of 6. So a gain of 6 would be positive 6. So the opposite of that would be negative 6. So it looks like we have to create our own number line here. So I'm going to put 0 there. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then I'll do the negatives. And so negative 6 would be right here. And let's label that A. The opposite of a deposit of $10. So if you deposit $10, then your account is gaining $10. So the opposite of that would be negative 10. And I'm going to need to extend the number line here. That's OK. So negative 8, negative 9 negative 10. And that was B. The opposite of the opposite of 0. Well, the opposite of 0 would be 0. And then the opposite of 0 is 0. So this is just 0. The opposite of the opposite of 4. So the opposite of the opposite of 4 would be equal to 4. And then the opposite of the opposite of a loss of 5. So a loss of 5 would be negative 5. So we have the opposite of the opposite of the loss of 5. So these two negatives would cancel, and we still have negative 5. So negative 5, and that is E.